Whether you believe in Santa Claus or God or fate, no matter what you believe, you're not going to believe what happened in Reading, Pennsylvania. All right, let's go. It began like all the other times. Every year I go out with Secret Santa, an anonymous businessman who travels the country at Christmas time, randomly going up to people in bus stations and thrift stores and handing out $100 bills. Are you lying? Oh, no, no, it's true. Oh, my God, this is crazy. Although the reactions are priceless, every year he spends sometimes more than $100,000 of his own money on this. Here's $100. And one thing I've always wondered is, is it really worth it? You don't know what these people are going to do with this money. Do you care? No, <clears throat> because one of the things that I do is I do not judge. Good thing, because separating the naughty from nice and this is, for you. is definitely not his forte. I didn't earn that. You, you did earn it, because I can tell you're a good man. A good man? Yeah. When was the last time you heard that? Maybe like uh, my mom. 30-year-old Thomas Coates is a total deadbeat, at least by most accounts, including his own. I wish I was Addicted to heroin, he recently hocked his own son's toys for drug money. That's how bad it is. I haven't worked in over a year, you know. I spent so much time in and out of treatment facilities. Why his girlfriend hasn't left him and taken their son is a mystery even to her. Grab your bag. But she is now running out of patience, which is why the night before we met him, during yet another one of their many money fights, she suggested he try something radical. She said, maybe you can shoot a prayer up to God real quick, you know? I know, you know, you, you don't really believe in him, but maybe you can start. And so he did pray for the first time since childhood. Take it, it's for you. Take it, take it. Then, out of the blue, the saint shows up, slipping hundreds into his hand. You could almost see the wheels turning. That kind of kindness from a total stranger the day after he prayed. You're my man. See you, pal. It was too much of a coincidence for this atheist to bear. It's amazing. <laughs> that to me was a miracle. That was God saying, all right, he had enough now. <laughs> I'm going to show you something. So from here on out, it's up to me. After meeting Secret Santa, Thomas checked himself into a treatment facility. And although he's done it before, he says this will be the first time with a higher power at the helm. Maybe that gave him the hope that he needs to break his addiction. And maybe that'll be the turning point that'll change his life, and maybe he won't go back. Now, wouldn't that be worth it? every penny. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Reading, Pennsylvania.